I'll start my story this way. Uh, I always thought that if my wife ever asked me, John, did you just poop your pants? <laughs> that the worst answer I could possibly have to give would be a, uh, yeah. <laughs> but I was wrong. My wife and I lived in Kenya for the year 2011, and you're not supposed to drink the water in Kenya. You're supposed to buy bottled water. But what some people will do is they'll take regular water, they'll put it in a bottle, reseal it, and sell it to you. And they'll do that because there is real evil in this world. <laughs> and you can't know when you've had that water because you can't taste typhoid. It's impossible. What you can do, though, is later realize that you've had that water. It's very obvious. For me, that moment came when I woke up smelling like vomit in a Kenyan hospital. Let me tell you, it's not a good sign for the hospital you're in when you wake up. You look around, get a full assessment of your surroundings, and then still have to ask, what is this place? <laughs> also discouraging is getting the answer, Uta Isha Pumzika. Because <laughs> that means you will live. And that's not what I asked. I asked a question about location. You gave me prognosis. That's discouraging. <laughs> Took me 12 hours to see a doctor just waiting with a bunch of sick people. By the time I got seen, I was sick with something totally different. I was like, I came here because my throat was scratchy, but now I can't move my arms. <laughs> I had to give two tests. I had to have two tests done. I had to give blood. Uh, for that, I just went to the corner of the room. I rolled up my sleeve. And uh, the truth is I got very good care, very professional care. Uh, the, the nurse was very coy. She put on the tourniquet and she said, uh, Mr. John, have you done anything in Kenya? that would make you wonder if you had contracted HIV. And I was like, no, what? Do you mean besides this right now? <laughs> I also had to give a stool sample, and that is where things take a turn. They gave me a plastic shot glass with no lid and a tongue compressor. And I didn't know what that tongue compressor was for, but I didn't want to get in a situation where I was like, oh, good, a tongue compressor. And I should just, I should just say, I had explosive <laughs> diarrhea. Shotgun dysentery, I think, is the medical term. Like, I was like, don't give me this. Just swab the bathroom walls when I leave. But I tell you what, sometimes you surprise yourself because I gold medaled it. It was amazing. It was a miracle. It was like a small consolation because now I had this and I had to go all the way back through the crowded room. Like, have you ever tried to make your way back to a table in a crowded bar? Like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Like right there, eye level. Everyone could see it. I could see it. I was like, I don't, I didn't even think you need to test this because I can see something swimming in there. And I'm pretty sure what's making me sick is a baby. One of those things that almost killed Luke Skywalker in the trash compactor of the Death Star. So I hand it to her and she says, I need you to label that. And I was like, I needed you to have told me that previously. <laughs> so I put it down and very carefully wrote Whitey on there. <laughs> but it's while I was waiting for those results that things went horribly wrong for me. Because when you're that sick and like all the liquids are running for the exits, like my ears were dripping, very, like, all, like just everything, like it's only a matter of time before when your vomit cycle in your diarrhea cycle, a line in a plot <laughs> to keep you humble for the rest of your life. <laughs> and that moment was coming for me. So I go to the bathroom, uh, three commodes, no stalls. So I make my choice, I'm just out in the open, I'm trying to be like totally, I'm trying to be tough, and I'm like, all right, <laughs> who's coming first? <laughs> And as I sit there, the smell of the bathroom gets me. I'm like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to vomit. And, like, and as I turn to do that, I, something just goes loose in here. And I just, uh, I just, I just diarrhea right in my pants. And I was like, that's unnatural. I used to get spankings for that. So then I sat down, and I was like, oh, that's gross. And then I vomited right in my pants. <laughs> now, now he, here's the thing about vomiting in pants you just diarrhea in. Here's the thing. There's nothing you can do about that. 
Like, in some ways, it's a relief, because you're like, I no longer have to factor in my dignity to this equation. <laughs> like, it's a low moment in life when you've just gone to the bathroom and you realize, I'd have been better leaving my pants on the whole time. Because now, I had to pull them up. And that feels exactly like you think that feels. But warmer. But I did what I had to do. Just pulled up my khakis. Apologized to this guy. And I walked out in the lobby where my wife is, and I said, Anna, I need you to call a cab. One that we don't mind severing ties with. And then she looked at me and she said, John, did you just poop your pants? And I wanted so bad to say, uh, yeah. Yeah, I just pooped my pants. But I had to say no. No, I didn't just poop my pants. A lot of that's vomit. And that's the worst answer you can possibly have to give. Thanks, guys.